Okay, what we got here is a little system which I am trying to trial for identifying multiple wires for use by electricians and things. So here we have the sender part and when switched on the alligator clips here, there's 24 of them, are connected to the wires that need to be identified. And at the other end we have this gizmo here, which displays the number, the numbers of the wires at the other end. Okay, I will now connect these to some lengths of cable and see if we can identify them. Right, now, I don't have 24 lengths of wire. However, I do have a roll of oops, light duty speaker cable and a length of um, twin core stuff. Okay, let us switch that on. Can we see it? Yes, we can see it. Good. Okay, let's grab some clips at random. This is number 22. It can go to the thing wire with the trace. And this is number four. It can go to the thin wire without the trace. Right, here's my other heavier duty stuff which is very hard to manage in this cold weather. Right, the clip Colours mean nothing, it's just that I got them all as pairs of red and black. Okay, this is number nine, which is going to the black of the uh, heavier stuff, and this is number 21. It's going to the white. Okay, remember those numbers. And I will go to the other end now. Here I am at the other end of the cables. Here is the display part switched on. Okay. All right. Now the important thing about this device is that it doesn't need any common return wire. The black here is the reference which can go to any wire at all. So we'll just pick one at random. Okay. We'll connect now to the white wire and it's showing 21. Okay, and the trace wire on my speaker wire here is 22. The non-trace one is number 4. And you can just move the reference lead to any wire. And we can now go back and see that the one I was using as a reference is actually number 9. And the white one's 21 still. And the non-trace one of the speaker wire is number 4. That's the big deal about this. It needs no reference wire. It just uses any wire as a reference. If anyone would like to help me test this thing with real cables in a real situation, please leave a comment and I'll see if we can work something out. Okay, thank you.